Hi guys, I'm Phil Town from Rule One Investing and today I wanna to talk to you about the famous Rule of 72. The Rule of 72, what it is is a really handy little shortcut. It, I use it constantly because it can tell me how long it takes me to double my money given a fixed interest rate. So I don't use it like that all the time, right? What I do is I know how long it'll probably take me to double my money and then that can tell me what my compounded rate of return is. And I use it like that all the time. Now getting a sense of how compound interest can kind of potentially grow in your portfolio or in an investment that you're looking at is really, really exciting. It's what kind of gets you cranked up when you can look forward into the future and you start to see that hockey stick thing happen with your money, right? Nothing's happening, nothing's happening, and then all of a sudden it starts going up really, really fast. And I think that might just light a fire under you guys and get you started saving every penny as early as possible. So what is the rule of 72? All right, so it's basically a straightforward mathematical game you sort of play in your head where it calculates either your compounded annual growth rate or the number of years it's gonna take you to double using a specific compound regular growth rate. So <clears throat> how do you use it? Well, what you do is you are gonna divide the number of years it's gonna take you to double one time into the number 72. So for example, let's say that I knew that in an, inv in an investment that I made, I was gonna double my money, or I did double my money in seven years, okay? So I, I went from $10,000 to $20,000, and that took me seven years. So I can calculate like this what my compounded annual growth rate is for every year during that seven years just by dividing the number of years it took to double into the number 72. So I have seven years to double, I divide it into 72, it tells me my compounded annual growth rate was 10 or 10%. Okay, another way to think about it is, if I know what I'm trying to achieve, then I can figure out with the rule of 72, how long it should take me to double my money. So for example, if I know what I'm trying to do is get a 26% return every year, compounded every single year, if that's my target, then if I divide 26 into 72, it tells me how many years it'll be before I double my money once. So if I divide 26 into 72, it's three. That means it's a three year time period to take my 10,000 and get to 20. Now, if I expected to be able to do that in five years, in five years to go from 10,000 to 20, I divide 15 into 72, it goes approximately five times. I know it's gonna take me five years to double my money. And if I knew that I was gonna double my money or expected this investment could double my money in six years, I would divide six into 72, and it'll tell me I'm gonna get a 12% compounded annual rate of return every year. Now, the reason that that's important for us is because we're targeting 26% per year when we make an investment. We want to double the money in three years. So when I look at a company, I wanna look and see if there's something that's going to happen that should cause this company to go up by double in the next three years. And then I know I'm gonna hit my 26% return. Just as a quick example of that, if I know, for example, I wanna buy a company that makes cotton t-shirts and cotton prices are through the roof, right? There, some big emergencies happened, then I can make a pretty good guess that cotton prices will come back to their normal rates within the next couple years. And within the next three years, this company should go back to its normal price, which will double my money. That means that's a great target for me for a 26% return. Before we wrap up, I wanna leave you with a thought from one of the best investors in the world. This is from Warren Buffett. He said, time is the friend of a wonderful in business investment, and it's the enemy of a lousy business investment, all right? Now, I'll tell you what a good one is. A good one is something like investing in that t-shirt company that doubles your money in three years. A bad one is taking your money and going spending it in sandals for a nice vacation. If you guys haven't seen my other videos about how to take control of your finances, then take a look at my channel uh, under my channel. So now I'd love to hear from you guys. How has compound interest helped you grow your money? Or even more interesting for many of you, how has compound interest taken all your money away? Because when you pay it, it's really bad. So leave a comment below with your answer, and I'll be sure and follow up with you. And thanks for watching, you guys. Now go play.
By the way, if you enjoyed the video and you thought it was valuable and teaching you more about ruling your financial future, I'd love you to subscribe to my channel and just share the video with everybody. Share it with your friends, anybody that might benefit from this information. And to learn how much money you'll actually need to be able to retire, go to my free retirement calculator by clicking on the link on the screen or in the description.